Hi everyone, my name is Michael Monhon and I'm doing the Ask GUG video of the week where you send in your questions and we give you answers. Again, I'm Michael Monhon, I'm one of the staff writers for Geeks Under Grace. A little bit about me, um, I'm married, live in Miami, Florida, I'm Hispanic, my family is from Cuba and I was born in New York City. Si hablo español para mi gente latina, que no me, si no me entienden, por favor usan un diccionario. Um, as well, I'm a big gamer, anime fan, uh, more of a retro gamer. I like RPGs and fighting games, uh, first person shooters, all that fun stuff. You can also check out my own website at www.gamingandgod, one, all one word, gamingandgod.com. So let's go straight into the questions of the week. So Joshua asks, uh, boxers, Briefs or Bible? I would have to go with briefs uh, because I can't wear a Bible, but I can read it. So, yeah, briefs. Uh, Robert asks, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? And there is an answer. And I'll read you from Google. A group of engineering students from Purdue University reported that a licking machine modeled after a human tongue took an average of 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. So basically, 364 licks. Pretty cool. There's actually a way to do that. Uh, Drew asks, should I buy a next-gen console or wait for the next best thing? I would have to go with buying the next-gen console that's out right now instead of waiting for the next best thing because, to be honest, we don't know when the next best thing is going to come out. And you're missing out on a lot of games that you could be playing right now that will probably not come out for the next console or they'll like get a remake or they'll get a sequel or something but you'll be missing out on a lot of games what is the best Final Fantasy act Sterling I would have to go with Final Fantasy 10 remastered because it's the same as the first Final Fantasy 10 it's just better um Steve another Geeks Under Grace writer said six Final Fantasy 6 which is a great game honestly shame on me I've never played it because I just never, and I wasn't into Final Fantasy when I had a place, when I had a Super Nintendo back in the day. So, and I haven't ever downloaded it, so I gotta get that game played. So I'm, my mind might change, but I'd have to go with Final Fantasy X. Uh, Seven was great, but I thought Ten was better because it just looked better. It was just more fun for me. Um, Sean asks, "Is Lord of the Fallen any good?" I've never played it. I don't have much feedback for you. I did watch a YouTube video because of the question uh, of the game. It looks cool. It's not my kind of game. I'm not into the open world concept of like Skyrim, Dragon Age, and all that Elder Scrolls. But it looks cool, you know. But if you like that kind of stuff, from what I saw, it was cool. Uh, Gino asks, what's an underrated game that deserves a new gen release? I wanted, I thought of a lot of games, so I decided to look up some stuff here um, to see what other people around the world are saying, and I agree with some of their answers. I would have to go with Skies of Arcadia is definitely an amazing game for the Dreamcast that needs to be remade. It's one of those RPGs that like, no one knows about, but it's a good one. Um, Jet Grind Radio, that needs to be remade. That game was so much fun. Uh, Rival Schools, another fighting game that is just so obscure, but I used to play that for hours, hours, hours. And Shenmue is another one. I don't know why we don't have a Shenmue uh, remade, but they need to do that like right now. Like right now, they need to do another Shenmue. Um, Dylan asked a question about illegal, Im illegal immigration. And what did I think, and what do I think of being a citizen of a country versus a citizen of the kingdom of God from a political ministry perspective? That could take me all day long. I'm not really into politics. I'm not, I don't, not my thing. Um, but to be honest, as my family being, they were immigrants. They came from Cuba, and then, but on a plane, they didn't, they didn't swim here or come in a boat. But honestly, the entire United States is full of immigrants, so I don't really see the big thing with illegal immigration because everybody that's in this country except for Native Americans immigrated here. But to be honest, uh, I'm not I'm not happy with the way America deals with immigrants. But you know, yeah, there's pros and cons of immigration. But to be honest, everybody that if you're an American, you immigrated here, whether it was from Europe, 
or from some other country. So anybody ever tells you, I'm an American. Yeah, but you came here from somewhere else. So we all immigrated here from New York City where they would have um, Ellis Island where people would come in and out and they would get checked. So immigration is nothing new. It's just part of this country. This is a country full of culture. And I thank God every day for America. It's a beautiful country. And how do you do that being versus a citizen of God? Your country is your culture. I mean, if you're a kingdom of you're a, you're a king, you're a child of the kingdom of God. So you bring those kingdom values into your culture as a citizen. So you should be living out God's values, God's purposes for your life, regardless of what country you're from. I've met people from Africa, from Asia, from Latin America, from America, and they're all Christian, and they all, you know, are living out God's values through their culture, from whatever country they're from. So you can, you just be you, you do you, but you live how God has called you to live and through his word. So I'm not going to go any more into that because that'll take, that'll take up the whole video. You think the Vita is worth the investment and why? Yes, it's worth the investment because I'm going to get one. Uh, oh, and this question was from Kelsey. Yes, I'm going to get one and I think it's worth the investment because they've already updated it so much that I don't think they're going to update it anymore. So I think it's going to be as good as it, is, as it is now. So just get it. Samuel asks, what's your favorite number? Seven. I, just, I like the number seven. Uh, Josh asks, is, uh, in Super Mario Brothers, which power do you think is the most powerful? I think uh, I like the feather. Because the feather was in Super Mario Brothers for the Super Nintendo. I love the feather because you can fly. And it was super cool. I loved it. Um... Which Super Smash Brothers game is your favorite? Ask Joshua. I would say the newest one, the one that just came out, uh, is, is awesome. I think it's better than all the other ones. So go ahead and hate. Leave them in the comments. Joel, what current gen console is your favorite? PlayStation 4 because PlayStation 4. Sorry, we. Sorry, Wesley. Uh, Nolan, why do you think the best Zelda game and the... Why do you think the last Zelda and Metroid games on the Wii were so negatively received? And what could have been done to change that? The last Zelda game for the Wii was Wind Waker. It was not negatively received, so I'm not sure why. Though I didn't play it, but I know that was supposed to be such an amazing game. All I heard was good things. The Metroid game, Other M, I think it was... And I haven't played that one either, but I think it got bad reviews because they tried to do something different with Samus that they've never done. Like having her talk. <laughs> so I think it's just they just tried something different, people didn't like it, and that's part of the gaming world. You know, you try something new, it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So uh, one of the questions from a couple of weeks ago on November the 9th from Robert, I'm not going to read the whole question because it was pretty long, but basically he's struggling with trying to experience the supernatural power of God. Uh, Robert, I would have to answer your question with, a uh, couple of things. First, check out some books. Um, you can try from my apostle, from the church that I go to, uh, Guillermo Maldonado. You can check out How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God. It's on Amazon. It's a great book. I've read it. It's changed my life. Amazing book. You can also check out Bill Johnson's book on the supernatural. It's called The Supernatural Power of a Transformed Mind or um, this thing, The Presence. There's lots of great books by Bill Johnson. He breaks it down real simple and how to experience God's power. Um, in regards to visions and the prophetic and you want to experience the supernatural, you have to think about why. You know, I go to a church where we walk in the supernatural power of God on a daily basis. You know, I've gone to the streets, prayed for people. I've seen the sick healed. I've given prophecies that are accurate by the Holy Spirit, not because of me. And, you know, and I just, it's common for me, it's normal to see somebody prophesy, lay hands on somebody, it's, it doesn't shock me, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you know. So, and I thank God for the power of God, but you have to seek His presence, it's not about, you want the power, you know, the power is good, but you need the presence, because even in the Bible, Jesus says that you cast it out, the, you heal the sick, you cast it out devils, you prophesy in my name, but you, I don't know you, and you cast them out of heaven. God is not looking for show-offs. He's not looking for people that, that can show off how powerful they are. You know, it has nothing to do with you. It's all about the Holy Spirit. So just ask Him. 
seek his face and just seek his presence. You need to worship. You need to get close to him. And that power will come. Just step out in faith. If you really want to prophesy, just find somebody and say, hey, I want to pray for you. I want to see what God shows me. And if God maybe will speak to you through a word, maybe you'll see an image in your mind. You'll hear God's voice in your heart, in your mind. And you'll hear God say, okay, tell this person this. Tell them that. But you have to step out in faith. If you just pray about it, you think about it all day long, it's nothing's going to happen. So, hey, thanks, guys. Again, you can send us our you can send us your questions for next week's video, and please check us out at geeksunderbrace.com. God bless, and take care. Bye-bye.